Reef Dudes is sponsored by Ecotech Marine and Bulk Reef Supply. Today we're going to build a DIY UV sterilizer. What's going on guys? Devin from Reef Dudes. So I was just away for a couple weeks on vacation. I came back after two weeks and the NAS tank was absolutely covered in dinos. I'm talking glass, rock, coral, everything in the tank looked like crap. Um, now, Thankfully, I was able to ID the dinos that I had, and it was one that could be beat with UV. Now I wanted a quick fix. So I ended up ordering this, I'm gonna say cheapish UV bulb off Amazon, it's 20 bucks. Um, a bit sketchy, this is a bare UVC bulb. Um, now it's a bit sketchy because you do not wanna look at this. Anything the UV light touches, it is going to deteriorate. That could be your eyes, that could be the silicone in your sump. It could be any equipment around it. Now, it did work fantastically well, but there is that caveat of the sketchiness, and that's what we're gonna deal with today. So what I ended up doing is I did a water change, and I sucked out all the visible dinos that I could. I ha In the Nile sump, there's a rear return chamber that's about three inches or so by about 10 inches, and that's right before the return chamber. So I just popped the bulb in there alongside my heaters, and I did a two-ish day blackout along with running UVC in their UV bulb 24 seven. And that got rid of about 95% of my dinos within two days. So that was fantastic. Now I've been, there's still little bits in there, but it's mainly gone. And I've been wanting to run this longer, but it's been sketching me out a little bit because this could break down stuff in the sump. You know, primarily, you know, if it was to deteriorate the silicone, that would be a terrible thing. So today we're gonna build a DIY UV sterilizer. So I did pick up some ABS pipe, which we're gonna use for our housing. You could probably use PVC or ABS. I know that's what the commercial ones are generally made of. Again, no promises on the longevity of this. This is a $20 bulb, so you're, you know, your mileage may vary. My other big gripe is look how tiny the cord is. That is very annoying. But we're gonna work with what we got. This is a super budget kind of DIY UV sterilizer build. Now, in most sumps, I would probably use a fitting so I could hook a pump up to it and force water through the UV. But because I have this small chamber in the back of mine, I'm gonna make it passive. So one less thing to plug in, one less pump, and a little less electricity. So let's get to building. One more, just a smidge longer to the bottom. Okay, so the top one I'm gonna cut a smidge shorter so I can angle it a little bit. So our water flowed easier. And we're also going to do a little notch on both ends just for the cord to poke through. slot will be enough for the cord to poke out so we'll give it a rinse and a test fit. Okay now that we got that done we can install our bulb. Um, it did have the little standoff so I am going to use those and for this I'm just going to slide it into our piping and I'm going to put the cord into that little slot that we cut. So this is kind of our little little nook so we can still slide it into the fitting. So slide that in so that we have our cord poking out and you gotta make sure you leave enough room inside so that we can slide our bulb all the way in. We have our UV in there. This should just fit in that rear chamber of my sump. And it's gonna force water to flow in and around it. Now ideally you would use a bigger pipe. However, this is the largest pipe that I can fit. So that's what I went with. Um, so you get the suction cup to hold in there. And it's gonna give lots of contact time. Now I did do a second slot on the top. So if I wanted later, there's a bit of an angle out, but I could pop a second bulb into the top of it and kind of double my wattage. So yeah, let's get this installed and give it a test. So this was a smidge too big to fit in, so I ended up cutting off the threads for that little cap. So there might be a little bit of light leak out of there, but it should just be against only the glass, so that should be fine. So yeah, hopefully this fits. Now it was still an extremely tight fit, so I did actually sand down the edges of these just to gain that extra little bit of, well my grand plan was foil because that's still too thick for the chamber that I'm using. So for most people, I think using that would be the way to go. For mine, we are going to reduce it down to a light shield because I cannot get it to fit in there, at least this way. Um, there's a little baffle right there, so it will sit like this. So a little bit of water will get around the bottom corners, but that's okay, I'm not worried about 100% going through it. 
and I cut it at an angle on this side so the water can still flow up when it's butted up against the glass. And that, and it's more or less turning into a bit of a shield to protect the eyes, but I think it will still do the job of forcing water through it and turning that chamber into a safe way to run a UV sterilizer. And as long as you use the little standoff feed that come with it, it kind of floats inside the tube, which keeps, you know, water passing through all around it for maximum contact time. Well, that was a slight deviation from the original plan, but mission accomplished before, and my whole sump would be glowing extremely bright for when the UV bulb was on. And now you can't really even tell. If you look to the side, you can see a little bit of a dot on the edge of the sump, kind of where the edge of that tube is. But otherwise it is perfectly safe, perfectly shielded. And now we have our passive UV flow running through the sump. So mission accomplished on the DIY UV passive sterilizer. And there you guys have it, a DIY UV sterilizer. You know, somewhat questionable bulb, no promise of longevity, super short, sketchy cord, but very budget DIY friendly and obviously does the job very well. Now, of course, I will throw a affiliate link in the description if you wanna build your own. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this, be sure to that like button if you're new, make sure you subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next video.